Well, they say home is where the heart is. And today we're with Scott with Black Hills Habitat for Humanity, who's been helping people get into homes for many years. Scott, um, tell us how long you've been with Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, I actually started with Habitat in 2006 here in Rapid City. And, um, but my first encounter with Habitat was uh, back in 1992 in Chicago. Oh. I was volunteering um, on a project. They were converting apartments into condominiums in the city, and I had such a great experience. I think what I've noticed, of course, in this region is that more and more people are moving here, right? It's becoming much more populated. There's more money coming into the community such that it's you know pushing home prices up. I know when I first started in this, you know, our typical homes were running ninety to one hundred thousand dollars. And now they're two fifty to three hundred thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So big changes that way. Habitat's basic high-level issue is that we want to help people that qualify for the program. And qualifying really happens based upon income, based upon need, and then based upon willingness to partner with Habitat. So the income range for us is fifty to eighty percent of area median income and the ability to repay a loan is really key so having some sort of consistent source of income but willingness to partner has to do with being involved with us in the classes that we offer the classes that life inc offers so there's a training component getting your internal house in order before you move into this this new home and need really relates to what's the current living condition someone's in so a lot of times people are in substandard housing and that's actually a key issue for us because we have such limited resources we're trying to target our resources to people that really need it the most and so if you have a rental and it's adequate for your family you know that would be something that we'd say okay you've got a, a decent situation that way whereas this family over here has a horrible unsafe situation we need to kind of prioritize their need. But I think that it's that partnership and then and the, the sweat equity and the partnering where they're actually building their own home and helping other people build their homes, I think is really part of the secret sauce of Habitat. And the funding mechanisms that Habitat uses really come out of our Restore businesses here in Rapid City and then up in Spearfish. So when people shop at Restore, they're getting great deals, but those revenues are going to help offset our costs to build. and maintain our organization. But then we also work with you know many, many individual donors, the faith community, uh, of course the foundations. And there is some involvement with the state of South Dakota through South Dakota Housing. They have some programs that work very nicely with ours. When we go through that process of building, it's very hands-on for the partner families. I mean, they're being asked to do 250 hours of sweat equity, which may not seem like a lot, but it's per adult and it's on top of whatever else they have going on, usually a full-time job or two or you know part-time. It's a lot of effort. And so getting that house built with the families is, is very, very important. But we have a group of, we call them the Tuesday, Thursday crew. These are about 20, 25 men and women who come together every week throughout the year, um, rain or snow or sleet, they're out there building because they're passionate about it. And then they work hand in hand with the partner families as well. So there's a real mentoring, real training, um, real positive bonding going on between those that have some surplus and those that need kind of a, a hand up. For me, this is the stuff of life. This is why I was created. I want to be a part of helping people get stronger. I want to be a part of housing is just a it's a key part of of moving people forward. These kids are coming into the world with so many needs and so much insecurity because they, they don't have anywhere to go back to that they feel safe. Every home I get to be a part of, I just feel like, you know, maybe maybe we're making a difference for, for this one family or this one child and they're gonna have a different life because of it. I often like to think, you know, we are one of the key organizations for 33 years that's been moving land from one set of owners to a new set of owners who would never have gotten that opportunity had we not been here. When that all comes together, it creates a, a tremendous opportunity for the future of that family and for our community. So the more housing we can create that people can actually own is gonna free up other units that maybe are a little bit higher priced. 
mm. um, so that we can improve our, uh, our workforce here and, and be the, the stable, strong growing community that we really want to be. And Habitat just has a key role to play in that because I know if we don't do it, there's no for-profit builders out there that will because we're oftentimes selling homes at just basically at our cost or even for less than what we have into them. But we're doing that because of the mission, right? It's all about the mission. Mm -hmm.